In this video, I'm going to present to you the best. Uh, what's not going to be in this video is there's not going to be any Greenify. There's not going to be any Super User APK. And there's also not going to be any Titanium Backup. If you've watched Root videos before, you've seen all those, you don't need to hear any more about them. And also, there's not going to be any ignorant information like... Um, I was watching this one guy's top five best rooted apps, and two of them. One of them was uh, Google Settings, which is just Google Play services that Google pushes to your phone to help your other Google apps. And another one was Apollo Music, which both of those you don't need root for. So anyway, um, get started with this. First thing is putting host files on your phone and if if you're rooted and you've got a custom ROM I'm sure that they came with them but I found the best host file okay. there you go mother of all ad blocking They've actually updated it since the last one I got. The one I got's from, I think, December 1st. But the uh, host file that came with the ROM that I'm on, I mean, it, it was good. But uh, this one is extremely thorough. So on XDA's website, the the um, thread is called mother of all ad blocking and you can get the download from here and it'll come as a zip file flash that in recovery and uh, I guess I should give an example I'll go on the internet Sorry it's taking so long. And up at the top, where there should be a, an advertisement, blocks that. So what you gotta do is, um, well like I said, you gotta go flash it in recovery. It's about 12, 12 megabytes. So make sure you get that. All right, now that the host files are in place, one of the first things that I did was got an application called Lucky Patcher. And I know Lucky Patcher's in a lot of top rooted app videos. But uh, there's a really important thing that can be done with Lucky Patcher. Other than making um, using custom patches or uh, making licenses for applications so that you can use them, um, what it is is the modded Google Play Store. And what the one that I got oops, is 3.10.14, and I I like this one because it's got the dark theme to it but with what the mod with the modded play store you can um, purchase apps and after you purchase it you can uh, refund it and it'll it'll put the money back on your account but it won't take the application off your phone which is I guess kind of like stealing, but uh, you know what? I've I've put a lot of money into into Google, and um, you know Google makes a lot of money off advertising, 
and uh, it's just a drop of, in the bucket to them, you know. Um, plus, they, uh, I feel like they violated, they helped violate our civil rights uh, years ago, a couple years ago when they were uh, working with the government and how to help spy on people, track them. It's, and a lot of Android phones actually use Google's DNS servers to for uh, GPS na navigation. But anyway, the way you do this is go in the toolbox, patch to Android. I've already got these installed. But there's a few different patches. The signal verification, disable it, and um, this other one to sit disable signal verification in the package manager and after you apply those reboot the phone and uh, mine actually wouldn't boot the first time but I pulled the battery and it booted up the second time I haven't had any problems with it since and after that after you do those patches you can install the modded play store Next application is AF Wall Plus. And with this application, you can block uh, Wi Fi, 3G, roaming, or VPN permissions for each individual app. And this is really handy, especially if, if you've been going over your throttling threshold. For your service provider and the way that you can tell how much each app is using is to go into your usage under settings and you'll have mobile usage and Wi-Fi usage and since obviously Wi-Fi isn't going to be throttled it's your 3G you can just check to see what how much data your uh, applications are using and if you see one that, that you don't think you should have should be getting data then you can go ahead and, and block that with AF wall and when they're checked that means that they are allowed to to access Wi-Fi or internet permissions or 3G and if they're unchecked then they can't so like with um, Candy Crush no, I'll, I'll let it have Wi-Fi permissions, but not 3G permissions. So if I'm using mobile uh, 3G and uh, I'm playing Candy Crush, then when it goes to um, what do you call it, sync with Facebook, it won't let it, and so it won't use the the data, and it won't use any. Uh, it it won't put that towards your. Um, limit. I just go into preferences to set it up. Um, you can see in the in the enable firewall logs you, you can uh, see which applications are being blocked. Um, it's got the roaming control and that's what adds that third column. See now that third column, the rooming column's gone. And the same with the VPN. VPN control. Uh, if you have an HTC device, you want to use that fix start startup data leak. And use the built-in IP tables. And when you're all done, make sure you apply it. And that's it. The next rooted application is called Droid VPN. And this is really helpful if your uh, employer blocks um, 
websites uh, like social media, Facebook, whatnot. And I also found it real, this is really cool. Um, it let me connect to 3G even when I didn't have a service plan because I got a prepaid phone. And uh, I, I made a couple of videos about Droid VPN. And one of them isn't updated, so you won't, you'd want to watch the updated version if you do. Um, it's kind of funny because actually the the older the older version actually has like ten times as many views. I'm not sure why, but and also made next application is called Wi-Fi Protector. And I don't I don't know much about this, so I'm not gonna pretend like I do. But it's supposed to alarm you when um, it detects that your Android's under attack but just to go through a couple of the settings you can auto start it uh, on boot which which I usually don't or auto start it when you connect to Wi-Fi um, it's got some notification settings like you can choose the ringtone when uh, an, an attack is detected I suggest you check disable Wi-Fi on attack. I, I usually don't use it over the 3G because it just it constantly goes off. And with most apps, I'll go ahead and disable the the logging and the crash reports. That's all I got on that one. This next rooted app is the best music enhancer ever. And it, I've used several music players. Viper for Android is what it's called. And uh, it's better than Power Amp. It's better than Beats Audio. It's, uh, let's, I guess, do a demonstration here. And play a song to where I won't get copyrighted for it. And I got it on about a little over half volume here. And turn on Beats Audio. You've seen that uh, Viper for Audio was running, but it's not enabled. I'll go ahead and enable it here. Now, it, Viper for Viper for Android doesn't work with Power Amp, but it does work with uh, third-party music players like um, I don't know SoundCloud or Pandora Radio. Here's the same song. Okay. When you use it, make sure to put it on no effects. I'll go enable it and like it for Android, and you'll see how much louder it is. Alright, and there's actually a lot to get that set up, so I'm, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail, or any more detail anyway, about that, because, uh, well, I'll go ahead and make another video about Viper for Android. Okay, this is going to be the last, last, uh, rooted application on this list. Uh, I think, I say the best for last, this is, um, I think it's the granddaddy of all the rooted applications. 
It's called Exposed Installer. And when you open it up, it's going to ask you to, um, let's see here. It's going to start on this screen here. And you see where it says active, 46, 42 there. Well, it's going to say 0 and 0. And what you have to do is you have to install it. And then uh, after you install it, you reboot it, and these will say active like that. But the, f the framework actually doesn't do anything by itself. You actually have to um, install modules for it. And there's a, there's a whole list of them. If you go to settings, if this, in it, if this is enabled, go ahead and enable it. And you'll be able to choose downloads. And I'm not going to go into many of these because it varies by what phone you got. But for instance, I got the X Privacy. You'll definitely want to get that. That's probably the best module that you can get. Just let you block permissions that um, applications ask for. If you don't think that they need them, um, the Wanum <laughs> exposed. Um, with this one, the only reason that that's why I got it because of the disable low battery sound. So when it gets down to fourteen percent or nine percent and makes that loud noise and scares the crap out of me, that disables that. Um, unlocks the um, experimental features and like you'll be able to do the GCM push uh, the Instagram downloader that's a pretty convenient one the master key multi-fix is really important especially if you when you root your phone you may not be able to get over the air updates which um, when when you're manufacturer sends updates to your phone it's usually because of uh, well either to get your new operating system and sometimes they'll include a, a new a firmware update and every so often th there comes out those bugs those android bugs that you see the 82.19.3.2.1 and on down the line and uh, so they'll they'll update your firmware and they'll they'll be able to patch those those holes and um, with this module it helped it uh, will patch that those holes without well since you can't um, get the over the air updates I like the vat the vine downloader and then the the weedy mod res on my phone when um, when I go to type something in before it would always show that input method button in the status bar and with with that you, you can disable that another good one is the XAD that one came out not too long ago in late December I believe and um, I guess I'll just give you an example like when I bring up a, a application that has um, a Google ad if you watch at the bottom when I open it'll say XDA is blocking the Google ad And no ad shows up, so that's nice. That, that's all I got for that one. That's just one that you got to experiment with. Thanks for watching. And if you got any questions or requests, uh, go ahead and leave a comment, and I'll definitely get back to you.